Hello guys, welcome in. Today we're doing Castle. Now I'm sure you're used to playing Chalet quite a bit in Ranked if you play Ranked. And Castle is not typically an operator that gets chosen. Why? Well, he's not the best. But we're going to do our best to show you guys different castles that we used to set up and the reasons why we set them up that way. So the first two should seem pretty obvious. You just want to make sure that that wall in, or that window in uh, piano is nice and safe reason for that being that well when you see a lot of people set up this site you're gonna see a lot of different head holes like for half wall there and with the half wall head holes it makes it pretty easy where if you have someone let's say like bandit tricking or something if they're watching like blue or library hall or even the double door fireplace they can get an angle on you from that window it's pretty pretty easy not super contradictory, right? The other reason, big window, right? Same thing, you're playing over in piano, right? You're playing right here and you're trying to watch that, watch the hallway, or maybe even watching like the door here and you're trying to rotate off. You wanna make sure that, that stays safe for as long as possible. Keep those rotates intact. Now this last castle, it's a little, a little different. Sometimes I'll put it here in bathroom depending on how they've been pushing other sites, depending on if we go this site first. Um, this one is just one that, again, protects just a weird angle from being attacked. And also, uh, just in general, if you're playing like solo queue games, you're not gonna have too many randoms that try and tear it down. Um, same with this one here in library. They can push library. If you have the reinforcements, do all three of these walls um, specifically. So you could maybe have someone playing in this little closet for library and playing on that big window so that way if they try and jump in that they can't um, do so so easily alternatively instead of using it on bathroom window i'll use it for this so that way that if they are pushing um they have to kind of worry about a lot of different angles right because if they're punching or if they if their goal is to take the fireplace hit the castle and get the wall open like normal on that half wall right if you're contending over here you literally have only one angle to worry about you could also do it on this window to again minimize the angles that you have to worry about when you're playing in here you could even play on the stairs here for blue and open up the rest of the head holes here just depends on how you want to run your site and what your team is used to running um, but definitely recommend having a similar setup to this especially if you have uh Regardless of what side head holes you have and what side you reinforce, right, you're gonna be able to capitalize on that no matter what. And it should keep you safe. Even if you're playing here, right? Having that castle on piano window still keeps the person playing in piano safer for longer. Also allows you to focus a bit more just on these angles without having to worry about maybe like a bono on the window who would open up that hard wall. This gives you a lot more options. So definitely recommend those castles for upstairs. Now, uh, the next three sites, I will reiterate, Castle is not the greatest. Just at all. Nothing additional needs to be said. Castle is just not someone who has a lot of value in terms of uh, what they bring to the team. They just don't particularly have too much uh, benefit. Um, so the castles that I do, because basement is actually optimized super well, there's not a lot of doorways that directly lead to basement. So I do that window, make it a little bit harder for them to try to, um, get, if you have like a cave claw right underneath the window, so that way that you don't have to like worry about them just, uh, breaking the window and then throwing a drone in, right? It does cause a little bit more mayhem. These top two here uh fuse would like to come up here buck would like to come up here right and if you're playing here so that way when they open the window you can shoot or if you have holes already made for you here in for sight that's the garage wall right there this kind of keeps you safe from most of the angles and you would hear them break that window in library if they were going to try and push you from that way the last castle uh mind you you are past prep phase at this point um the last castle that i normally would probably try and put is just one for this big garage it's not a super common way for people to push by any stretch of the imagination 
but it does kind of add some delay for you so you can kind of worry about maybe like boiler a little bit more you can put one of your beepers here you can put one of your beepers at like the top there and then you can throw the other one in blue and maybe work your way up and play back by your castles near library again it's not great it's not great basements optimize pretty well to the point where you don't have very many doorways you have blue doorways and that's pretty much it so there's not really much castle play to be had there um pretty much if you play this way you have this soft door to worry about library window to worry about the other side library window to worry about as well as um if people break this window if they come through games they could go bar they could go in that side closet with the barrels right uh it's not super common as a push they normally might just go games and then go all the way down so if you don't want to have that top play with the castle on the big window and on that uh piano hallway wall you could use it for this doorway right here for games that just kind of stunts a rush if they try to ask charge in and then come down for blue same thing with this doorway you can just barricade off this doorway with your castle again it stunts a rush if you're trying to retake site like map control or site control and they have let's say they have garage door open and they know that you're like in blue right this provides you with a bit of safe passage for you to rotate up and around um all the way through maybe you can get the guy who's planting if he's on the wall even if he's on the trash cans there you maybe get an angle on it so you maybe have an easier comeback from that and then you can come down main again relatively safely assuming that this window might still be closed and you don't have someone playing in here this provides you with a little bit of extra extra wiggle room if you will okay so bar and games another site not the best uh so a lot of people think oh let's castle this window for gaming room no. one of the things that you want to do is you want to secure the area around the site right that's one of castle's strong points and doing this double door it's going to secure this whole hallway for you you could do this side door here not normally super heavily pushed so i would normally just do a normal barricade there and then i bring the rest of these up top the reason being you want to get this double window because when you open this hatch so that you can play down you want to have that vertical play option it's going to protect you for a little bit longer or at least bring you to same thing with this window okay now the other thing i would do this double door for piano hallway library hallway whatever you want to call it uh this is going to basically ensure that if you're getting pushed you know it's either from one side or the other so when you're hearing audio you know where it's coming from so those are the castles that i would use for this site again not necessarily a great site for him just because the site itself sure you could castle that but there's not it's it's just one big wall that separates these sites and there's not a lot of safe passage in general like for example fireplace right you can't get every possible angle especially because some of them don't even have doorways right so just not the best um but these are the castles that i would use if i were to let's say i got default picked um on castle for the round it's just unfortunately you don't really have too many options so kind of just have to do your best with what you can um like i said that is the way that i would play it is just try and open up some vertical play for yourself and secure that vertical area as best you can having these open doorways to allow sound to flow i mean you could even as long as those are still closed you could even play here retreat back right and then drop just to make sure so yeah that's this site let's go to the last site Alrighty, kitchen. One of the worst sites that everyone loves. This one's okay for castles. It's not the best. It, like, none of them, like I said, none of them are the best. None of them. Just literally none. Just don't even, don't even think that any of them are good. Just imagine that they're all in their underwear. Because they're all terrible. So, you'll notice, right? That there's a lot of head holes coming on. 
right? So something like this would be a really good castle setup. It's gonna take some help maybe, maybe a little extra time because you need someone to reinforce some stuff for you, maybe help you with these head holes. But essentially what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut off West Main in the best possible way. Right. And you're gonna do that by castling everything that allows you to play this so you know that they're gonna burn this it's just a given they're gonna do it so you can kind of just play into that right um, same way that you would do this castle for the long haul you know that's either gonna get opened or they're just gonna take fireplace and get that wall so you need to have your roamers in check that's the important thing, numero uno, right? If you don't like this one, beautiful. Bing, bang, boom. You don't use that one, you put it right here. Okay. All these head holes, though, are going to be playable, right? If this is open, right, you're going to be able to play West Main from right here. You're going to be able to play further back on these head holes for this hallway. You're going to be able to play close up for that jump in on that window. You're even going to be able to play for the guy walking down the stairs and solarium into trophy and you're gonna be able to hear if they're coming back this way because all the audio is gonna vacuum in here right even if you make footholds here just like normal it's not gonna matter because all the audio is gonna come through so you're gonna have a pretty safe place to play here maybe put some ads's or well my gadgets or something uh, a little further in the fireplace area there if you have a friend that can play this but this is it this is the castle strat if they jump in you get them from there. If they come down the stairs, that can't run across this hallway because it's castled. They have to burn you till for it. And the whole time you're going to be able to sit here and shoot them, right? If this is castled, right? And this is open, it's the same thing. It's the same setup. Look at this. You just, you just play on this single wall, right? Jump in. Look at that, even better angle. So either way that you wanna do it, it's gonna be fine. This way has a little bit of a peak from outside the window. So I personally like having the castle on this barricade and then playing the holes this way, but it's kind of personal choice to an extent, right? Um, it is gonna be like super Rome heavy site. So just keep that in mind. Castle, not the best chalet map. It's like his Achilles heel. There's not many great castles, but these are the ones that I would use if I were to use castle. So just keep that in mind, I guess. I don't know. Figure it out. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video soon, this week, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Not me. Haha. <laughs>